Well, playing like this, the match can only have one outcome. Well, the error's creeping in. It would be an awful shame from, for Moyer if he were to falter now, having played so well thus far. But it could happen against Chang. Such a scrapper. Well, if Moyer's confidence was wavering, that should... Uh, Help him to recover it, his second ace. Oh! Oh, Chang's missed. And he's usually so safe over here. So desperate times for the number two seed as Moyer's confidence returns with the beautiful saving lob, which in all honesty this man should have killed, but he didn't. And he's paid the penalty. Chang needs a convincing game here, throwing the weight back on Moyer's shoulders, making him serve for the match rather than conceding it here. Yes, great play. Exactly right. Taking it, it's seemingly just a little bit earlier here on that one and this finishing blow. Well, I wonder if in his mind he is prepared to concede this game, knowing that his own serve is to come. It's a dangerous game to play, though, that. Succeeded with two lovely drop shots earlier in the match. But, but not that time. So the moment of truth has arrived. And here's just the man to put into bat for you if your life depended upon breaking someone's serve. But frankly, the way Moyer served and played behind the serve, I feel that is quite unlikely.
He had a chance to close out the match against Mantia in three sets, lost his serve then, lost the set. So Chang must take heart from that. <laughs> a little bit of encouragement. Well, if he's as cool as he looks, he won't have any trouble. Yes, he's done it again. Lovely touch he has on the volley. He'll certainly be a force at the fast court tournament. Well, two points would do it. I wonder if Chang was put off by that shout from the crowd. Santana can't contain himself. Two match points for Moya. Chang cool there for that winning backhand. Second match point. Oh. Yes, he's done it. What a sensational result that is for Spain and for Carlos Moya. 7 5, 6 2, 6 4, 2 hours and 11 minutes of well nigh perfect tennis. I, I was uh, a little bit nervous at the beginning, but I think he was more nervous because he, he made uh, some easy, easy mistakes. And then uh, uh, I kept fighting, I kept playing like this, and now the only thing I can say is that I'm very happy the way that I played. Happy, I should think so. It was quite an achievement because Moya becomes the first Spanish male to reach the Australian Open final since Andre Jimeno back in 1969 when he lost to the great Rod Laver. But Moya is through and there he will meet either Pete Sampras or Thomas Muster. They play tomorrow.